Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra. And we're back for some more Bloodborne here today. Um, we just killed Father Jack Cousteau, or whatever his face was. Um, not sure if I caught his name or not, but, um, he beat the shit out of us, and then I summoned help. And it was super duper easy. And I greatly appreciated that mess. So, you know, whatever, man. If it works, go with it, right? So that is exactly what I done diddly did. Um, my cat is here in my lap for some reason. Um, she is sniffing my knee and trying to lick it or some shit. So that's whatever, I guess. Ooh, we got my blood echoes back. Sweet. Um, that's not what I wanted to do, but all right. Where- here it is, Molotov. I don't like these wolf things. We are definitely not friends. So we're gonna take care of that the easy way. Oh, come on, you two cheaty bastard wolves. Come on, then. Do your stupid shit. Oh, no, no. Oh, really, again? Come on, now. I hate these wolves so much. I don't know if you can tell that, but these guys in that that angle are just some serious bullshit, is what they are. Oh, nope, looks like my cat doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. She smelled something on my blanket and was just like, nah, man. Nah, that shit's weird. That shit's weird and gross, I'm having none of that. Alright. So I guess the other thing that I was talking about insight in the last round, um, I guess insight affects more than one thing in this game. Um, insight can also make the game slightly harder, or maybe just change the way certain creatures in here behave. That was interesting. Did you not target dumb bullshit game? Is that so much for to ask of you? There we go. Thank you. Kill that stupid crow. Kill this jackass. Oh, come on. I totally got a hit off on his butthole. Oh, whatever. I got my... I got my life back from him, so whatever. Oh. Is this my blood echoes? It is. Alright, let's try this dumb crap again, shall we? Hi, pal. You're on fire, and you're dead. So, goodbye. Yes, you're a wolf or something. Come on. Alright, fine, I'll just beat your ass the old-fashioned way. I won't try to parry you, I won't try any fancy crap. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. With your dumb werewolf shenanigans. Yeah, 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 you're a wolf, I got it. You used to be people, now you're a werewolf. Noted, sir. Get out of Larry's face with your sauce. Alright, so we got the werewolves, which is what I wanted to do. Um... Yeah. So there's that. So now we have to kill that patrol that had involves a hunter and his stupid friends. Alright, that actually went fine. Die puppy number one, puppy number two, perfect. See, everybody's friends with Larry in the corpse way that people can be friends or something. Oh, here we go. Here's that house. Hello, Mr. Hunter. Hello, Timmy, or... Is this a girl or a boy? Well, whatever. Here you go, Timmy. Here's your mom's corpse thing. Why do I hear... Why do I hear a giant glutton monster? Well, anyway, here you go, kid. Here's your mom's brooch. Yep, your daddy murdered her and ate her face. Huh. Well, sucks to be that kid. Do I... Do I get anything now? Okay, there was literally no point in giving a shit about this kid. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Will this drop kill me? 
Apparently not. So that guy's dead. You had a gigantic mace, you son of a bitch. Okay. That's cool. Oh wait, where am I now? I'm getting lost in junk. I'm sure it's fine. Where the hell did I end up here? Is this where you come out of the sewer? Where is this? I don't even remember where this is. There's a door here. Okay, well, that's weird. Whatever, let's go check out that new zone. Because we just killed Father What's-His-Face, this kid's daddy. Uh, who was out with his mom. You know, probably if your husband's out, just future reference, uh, for potential demon hunter wives. Or husbands, if your significant other is out hunting demons and werewolves and shit, maybe don't go after them if, you know, they don't come back, because you're not a demon hunter, werewolf hunter, whatever hunter and shit, so, you know, just keep that, just keep all that business in mind, you know? It just seems like a really smart idea. So, you know what, I bet I can squeeze another level out of all of this. And these corpses ragdoll really weird. Yeah, I bet I could get another level out of this character with these blood echoes that I've got before I potentially lose them. So let's go do that, and then we will teleport back to Father Gaston's graveyard place, where he was a giant dick. But, you know, it's something to be said about these Souls games, where all you need is an NPC summon or a person, and you can do them. They just need, like, an extra body to distract the boss briefly. So let's see. Yes, hello, doll. I would like to channel the blood echoes, blah, 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 blah. Um, give me some of that sweet, delicious endurance. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. We've done the thing. Hot diggity. Okay, um... Off we go to the tomb of Odin. Oh, Odin. Oh, Udon noodles? Whatever, you get the idea, fuck it. Do I eventually use these other tombstones to teleport around? That would be kind of neat if I did. That would be super duper neat. I guess I also need to find a creature in this game that allows me to, um... ...to farm those bloodstones or whatever that I use to reinforce my weapons. Those seem super duper important. And I guess I was reading a comment on the wiki when I was getting the exact information on Insight after someone explained it to me. Um, and it looks like there's like something in this game that could make you partially turn into a monster. Like, with beast arms and stuff, so I'm totally gonna try and find whatever that business is. Oh, we got a key to open up this gate to Odin's tomb. Alright, that's cool. Um... Is there sinister rape in here? I've been in here five minutes and nothing has murdered me. Oh, we're back in the sewers. Of course we are. Of course we are. Where would be the fun if you didn't get to go slosh around in poopy water, Larry? Come now, sir. Did you really think that you weren't going to get dookie on your shoes? Really, man. Oh, this looks different. This is like some Duke's Archive shit from Dark Souls 2. Oh, I don't know, are Mimics a thing in this game? I'll bet they might be. This is a Souls game, after all. Blood Gem Workshop Tool. Ooh. Do we get to, like, put super crazy, like, laser powers on our weapons now? Oh, I don't mind if I do. Do not mind at all. And we just opened a cutscene door? You know what I don't particularly care for in this game? I don't particularly- well, it's not that I don't like them, it's just that they're, they're like, suddenly- Oh, by the way, remember how you just killed that one boss? I hope you really like another boss, like, right off the bat. Okay, we're in like a cathedral chapel. 
with spooky hand statues and a demon on the floor that we seem not concerned about at all. Okay. What's up with you, demon lady? Are you gonna murder me? What the hell is this thing? Oh, we're in the cathedral ward now, alright. Um, hi. You must be a hunter. Please oh, are you friendly? It. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These oh, okay. So she's like a inside. like a hermit lady. It always does, always has, you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. Screams of women folk. Oh, has this happened before really bad? The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot them uh. with their wits about them, tell them about this here in Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Okay, so this is Odin Chapel by the Odin... <laughs> Odin's grave? All right. Oh, okay, so that's why people were asking me if there's, like, a safe place to go. I can invite them here, I guess. All right, that's cool. You say anything well, else? be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, if they seem well, and I do sincerely hope that... Okay. Oh, oh, I played Demon Souls. I don't... Oh... This seems like a choice. So she just said if they look friendly. So, in Demon Souls, they had this thing. What's your deal? What killed you? Oh, yeah, this is like a safe place, but I'll bet... I'll bet there's people... Ooh, this is fun. Alright, I don't mind if I do. You don't... Hey, do you... Ma'am, do you mind if I fuck up all your pots? What am I saying? What are you gonna do? You don't even seem to have working legs. Alright, fuck it. Let's fuck up all these pots. These are amazing. I've got incense or something in them. I'm gonna burn this whole place to the ground. Oh, hell yes. Alright, but in, as I was saying, in Demon Souls, you could release players from the game and they would come back to the main base and some of them would kill the other NPCs and then you wouldn't be able to interact with them anymore. Oh, I'm gonna have to look up who's good and bad then. I'm not fucking around with this shit. I am not gonna get- I'm not gonna get murdered by a giant hell beast just because of that. So what's this place about? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, hi, friend. What is your deal? You are super murdery. Look at you. Okay. I guess you're friendly or some junk. And you guard a crow. A crow party. That's not the weirdest thing I've seen today, man. It is not the weirdest thing all day. God, the sound these things make is just some shit, man. Oh, that's right! Somebody was warning me that after this... That, uh, what's-his-face guy... Um, after you kill that boss, somewhere in here there's like, uh, there's like a, a thing behind a tree that I need to be careful of because that the item in that tree if you don't get it fast enough, it'll kill you and suck your butt to another dimension or something. Yeah, that sounds super friendly. Why not? Why not? Indeed. Um... What's up here? More of these staff guys. Hi, pal. What's, uh... What's shaking, Bacon? What's your deal? Hi. You mind if we don't play this game today? Oh, I can, like, get behind him at least, so this guy's not gonna, like, randomly one-shot my ass. Oh, hi, friend. You're the hitty friend. 
that I don't like. Yep, you're a hitty friend. Not a thing we're doing. Okay, um... Wooden shield. Is that a trick? Is that a fucking bad trick? Is that just mean? Like, I don't... I don't recall ever seeing anybody in this game play anything that involved using an actual shield. Okay, I can't open this because I'm missing a device. Okay. Maybe there's like a... Oh, I guess I have to go on like the other side of that gate. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's cool. Or abandoned wheelchairs and random baby, uh... carriages. Always nice and creepy. That stuff apparently harkens back to the original Silent Hill games. I guess that's one of the original games where that stuff started to appear. Man, that stuff has had a really long life for that. Like, holy smokes. Huh. It's a much different game now that I've got specters in here. They like to run around and show me that things are gonna try and kill the shit out of me. Huh. Okay, I guess I'm going over there. Let's do it. Let's do it to it! Push it to the limit. Limit! Is there any way to go back here? Is this- or is this just the only door? Ooh, 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 wait. I'm gonna poke my head into this other zone, this other doorway. Because we went straight that time. And this is a locked door. We went straight here, but let's see what's over here. There's more of these tall people. Hi, tall friend. What's your deal, man? I guess he points for some reason. And then starts hitting me? I wonder if he has, like, a weird magic. Because this guy is different than just the dude with the staff. Um... Well, first and foremost, I am going to... Like, make sure this area is cleaned out of shit that wants to stab me. Then, oh... Is that the thing they warned me about? There's the tree. I'll bet that's the thing I was warned about. What do I hear? What the hell sounds like thousand janking chains? Holy shit! Okay, I'm gonna check that guy out in a second. None of that crap right now. Um, is this the trap? Is this a trap? Nope, that's just a dead guy. Um... Let's risk it. Let's- let's do it. Is that it? Holy shit! What is that thing? Oh, thank you, random dude who told me to- Oh. Okay, there's also a note here that says don't get fucked in the butt. No, I should probably start reading those. I should probably start reading those. Um, is there any other bacon hidden back here? Uh, alright, well let's see what we got here. Um... We got some new gear. So this goes under my attire. Ooh, I got a fancy top hat. Um, it lowers my blood defense. What the hell is blood defense? Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. We got like a dapper top hat and hunter garb now. We got like proper hunter gear. Oh, look at that crap. We are so dapper. You guys don't even understand right now. So before I go any further in here, because there's like new monsters and shit, let's uh, go back to the hunter's dream and use that new workbench tool that I just uncovered. Maybe that lets us add, like, crazy superpowers to our weapons. Because I would love to have, like, a lightning axe or something, based on, like, what I've seen from the games in the past. Like, a lightning axe, or maybe, like, uh, a fire sword or something. That would be pretty sweet, man. Yay! Oh, hi! What's up, Garman, you old asshole? You know, I've been in this game for several hours, sir. I'm, I'm not sure how much of, like, a night this is, and more of, like, a really long week of darkness. Oh, 
Wait, I need to find a chalice thing? Okay. So I guess we have a side quest now. Huh, okay, so there's like a side mission for like a special item in a hamlet. Okay. Alright, thanks, Garmin. Alright, you don't say anything cool. Stop talking, stop talking, old man. Alright, let's see here. Blood gem fortification. Fortify weapons using blood gems. Blood gems imbue weapons with special characteristics. Okay, so what do we got? We can upgrade my Hunter Axe with... Oh, okay, so I have, like, gem slots in the side. So there's, like... I don't know. Nothing? Alright, I guess we'll have to find a Blood Gem before that makes any sense. Alright, well that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I have got a sweet dapper new cape. We told a kid his parents were dead. And, uh, Garman was like, go bring me a fancy cup and we'll go kill God or something. I mean, that's always a trope in at least one of the, uh, the, in every other, like, game out of Japan. You either have to become God or kill God in, like, most of those, so... I mean, there's no time like the present to do that, right? Why the floop not? So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Uh, maybe I can, like, level up real fast, talking to the doll. And I'll catch you crazies next time. Do the likey subscribe a thing, keep up your delicious comments, they are amazingly helpful. And I'll talk to you later, toodles.